Hey guys, it's me, the Bong24, and I'm here to show you the Smoke Natural by Smoke Tech. This is how it looks like. I got a flat top, not the tapered one. You got 12 vent holes, stainless steel, full mechanical, nice drip well over there. Actually, it also serve like for CE4 tank. It's pretty solid. Size comparison, the Pro Vary. Just to take a note guys, this is 18500 setup and this is 18360 setup. If you're gonna look at this one. They're almost the same. Imagine if you have an extension for 18360, it's gonna be a little bit taller. So this is really a nice small mechanical mod um it's about the same size of the pro vary a little lighter than the pro vary this doesn't have a battery though just to show you guys it's empty so anyways we'll talk about how this performs but before that I'm gonna show you guys something what's inside you can break this in three part actually four part one two with the better the fire bottom at three and four Yep. All four. The top cap has an adjustable 510 connector. Some of the RBAs, carbonizers, or atomizers is a little bit flush in the bottom. So you can adjust this to have a better contact. Also, if you look at this one, the top one is kind of recess. Yeah. So if you don't like this, you can just send it off or, or file it. If you want your Genesis to, uh, to look flush and look more hybrid on it. This is the extension for 18360 to... They have an 18500 is what I've mentioned. Um, this is the battery vent hole and yes it's a stainless steel connector so you can send it down because I believe this is chrome over brass so if you're gonna send this down you're gonna see a chrome I mean uh, if you can send it down you're gonna see brass so which is a better conductivity in electrical compared to stainless steel Actually, it's not four parts, it's five parts. And here's the fifth one. You got a silicon here to hold the bottom battery connector. And this is where the connection, and it's stainless steel too, but you can sand it down if you want it in the brass. And you can adjust this too. Anyways, about battery, I got 18350 here. So, just gonna use the small one. I'm gonna show you the setup. How small is the 18350 on this setup? 
that's how small it is compared to the Provary 18500 how it looks like on the AGTA plus there we go guys Provary 18500 with a DID clone on top so how it vapes let's see it oops sorry performs well. This is a 2.1 resistant. That's how it look like on an AGT plus. Uh, how about on the RDA Octopus from Smoltech. This is a 1.3 resistant ohm. It really looks good on RDA actually with an hourglass see how it vapes not, not bad that's how it is in the RDA How about uh, A7? A7, 2.1 ish ohm. Really stands. Looks good actually. Sound vapes. It's an RDA. It's kind of weak because, uh, I didn't top it up the juice here. Oopsie. It just doesn't stand. Sorry about that, guys. My RBA is falling apart. Now let's try it on a Phoenix V2, V3. -ish. They have a lot of name. They call it Rainbow for some reason. They call it V3 Phoenix, uh, whatever it is. Call it Bully, some other site. I haven't got a review yet, so let's put this one some liquid. Anyway, so I'm using a dragon fruit from Sin City Vapor. They're really good. All right, this is how it looks like. Smoke natural. Uh, it's hard. This is a one point seven now. Uh, resistant. Not bad. Actually, I'm not trying to like vape it hard. I'm just showing you guys how it looks like on those atomizer. So, uh, 
I like the 18350 configuration because it's small. It's kind of stealthy. You gotta look at my hands. I don't I don't have a big hands, but you know. See how is that? Okay, uh, now we're gonna compare the the vapor production. Actually, this two resistant is the same. This is a DID clone, and it got one point three resistant on three point nine volts uh, per vary. This is a RDA octopus from smoke, 1.3 resistant. So let's see. Um, I just want to see a comparison of the vapor production and the flavor and the throat heat of these two devices. Not bad. <clears throat> DID clone 3.8. My battery is dying. Let's see how it performs. <coughs> Sorry about that. I got a hot spot here. I didn't tilt it way up. That's bad. <sighs> Anyways, I'll lower it down a little bit. Three point seven, make a fair fight. That. Is a smoke natural? We're gonna have a comparison 18350, 18500. See, how's that? It's really a nice, solid mechanical mod. I got it from uh, Discount Vapors, I got it for $53, and they ship very fast. Actually, this thing is still here, really scratch a little bit, uh, so just like any other stainless steel, but this is easy to polish and yeah, make it look new. Not a vape. good mechanical mod uh, if you guys can ask me what would be the cheapest uh, mechanical mod to purchase I'll recommend this at $53 there's a lot of uh, good mod out there like Chi Chi GG TS it was like $200 EA electronic uh, angel topping at $200 too uh, but all mechanical mod works the same. The only difference is the conductivity of the of the battery connection, because most of them are brass connection. But this one here for fifty three dollars, you can just send it off. There we go, guys. The smoke natural from Smoke Tech. It's the bomb twenty four. And I'm signing up.
Yes, I keep pressing the button to stop. Sorry about that, guys.